Hi, Chris Rossetti here from D910sports.com. I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of Western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. With locations in Chippenville and Tynesta, Tynesta Builder Supply is a full-service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries and general hardware merchandise, Tynesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tynestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. Spring is here, and that means grilling season. Mike's Bilo in Reynoldsville has all your grilling needs covered with chicken, steak, pork chops, and more. You can check out all of Mike's Bilo's weekly specials from the comfort of your home at mikesbilo.com, where you will also find online coupons and recipes. Visit Mike's Bilo on South 5th Street in Reynoldsville today. Mike's Bilo's Foods, your friendly hometown supermarket. Are you hungry? Of course you're hungry. And Daddy's on Main Street in Clarion is ready to tackle that hunger for you. Serving amazing food since 2008, Daddy's has been Clarion's go-to stop whenever hunger strikes. Whether it's a good old-fashioned hot dog or hamburger, a salad, or something from their rotating chef's menu. Yes, I said rotating chef's menu. Daddy has you covered. You can order ahead by calling 814-223-4687 or come on in and dine in. Have a big event you are catering? Daddy's can do that too. Like Daddy's on Facebook at Daddy's Clarion and stop in today. You won't be disappointed. What's the recipe for surprising the kids, treating yourself, and ditching dish duty? You're looking at it. Order your Pizza Hut faves like original pan, original stuffed crust, and more at PizzaHut.com. No one out pizzas the hut. Swift Kennedy & Company in Dubois is an independent property and casualty insurance agency and the official insurance agency of your daily local LLC, the parent company of the YDL Sports Network. Founded in 1921 by Patrick J. Swift and Albert D. Kennedy, our success has been built on service and attention to our clients' needs. Our philosophy is service and our hallmark is integrity. Visit Swift Kennedy & Company on the web at swiftkennedyandco.com or call them today at 814-371-5270. Swift Kennedy & Company, insurance with integrity since 1921. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of High School Softball on the YDL Sports Network, d 9 sportscom brought to you by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. The Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, where you come for the food and you stay for the view. Also with a great bar area, perfect for watching your next game. That's the Allegheny Grill. Check out more at AlleghenyGrill.com. I'm Chris Rossetti. I'm here at the Clarion Limestone Sports Complex, getting ready for a softball showdown between the Cranberry Berries and the Clarion Limestone. Lady Lion CL enters the game with a record of two wins and two losses. Cranberry is at three and two. After a couple of nasty days this week, the sun is out. Still a bit on the chilly side, but it is definitely more like mid-April than it was yesterday for sure. And uh, glad to have you alongside for this softball game. Let's take a look at the Cranberry Berries under the direction of Chrissy Shoemaker in her second year. She's going to lead off with her left fielder, Lexi Risinger, batting second and doing the pitching, the veteran, Renee Watson, batting third and at shortstop, Keely Schneider. Batting fourth and playing second base, Riley Coe. Batting fifth and playing over at third base, Casey Scarborough. Batting sixth and doing the catching, the coach's daughter, Jaden Shoemaker. Batting seventh and in center field, Kendall Finley. Batting eighth and in right field, Caitlin Beggs. And batting ninth and over at first base, Michaela Smith. So it's Risinger, Watson, Schneider, Co. Scarborough, Shoemaker, Finley, Beggs, and Smith for Cranberry. For Clarion Limestone, under veteran head coach Jason Craig, he'll send out the following lineup. Doing the catching and leading off, it'll be Abby Knapp. Batting second and at shortstop, Jenna Dunn. Batting third, and at first base, Alyssa Wyant. Batting fourth, and in center field, Sam Simpson. Batting fifth, and doing the pitching today, Kaylee Smith. Batting sixth, batting sixth, and playing over, excuse me, folks, I only have eight people in the lineup here. See where I messed that up? I apologize. <laughs> so Kaylee Smith, so Simpson is batting... Okay, so Simpson, folks, is batting 
in the oh I don't okay so we go Wyant Simpson oh Olivia Smith is batting in the five hole sorry about that Kaylee Smith will be batting sixth and doing the pitching batting seventh it'll be Jocelyn Henry she's in left field batting eighth Jade Tor Torania Reina she's in right field and batting ninth it's Jessalyn Gert at third base. I apologize. Again, that's Abby Knapp at catcher. Jenna Dunn is at shortstop. Alyssa Wyant batting third in at first base. Sam Simpson batting fourth and playing center field. Olivia Smith is batting fifth and playing at second base. Kaylee Smith is batting seventh or batting sixth and doing the pitching. Henry bats seventh. That's Jocelyn, Jocelyn Henry bats seventh and plays out in left field. Tarana bats eighth and is in right field. And batting ninth, it'll be Jessalyn Gert. So it's Jocelyn Henry and Jessalyn Gert is batting ninth and playing over at third base. So it's Knapp, Dunn, Wyant, Simpson, Olivia Smith, Kaylee Smith, Tarana, I'm sorry, Henry Tarana and Gert for CL. We've got that right now. I sorry about that. I got confused with the two Smiths in there. Just skipped over the one of them. Happens sometimes. So the wind wants to take my lineup card away as well. As I get myself back settled in, we're going to step aside, thank a couple more of our sponsors. You're watching High School Softball on the YDL Net Sports Network, D9 and 10, sports.com, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. In both baseball and softball, as in bowling, there's nothing better than a perfect strike. And Dubois Lane's on the B-line, and Dubois has been serving up a striking good time for nearly 70 years and is here for all your bowling needs. At Dubois Lane's, we have open bowling, leagues, birthday parties, and other special events, along with a great pro shop. Call today for open bowling hours or to book your next event. A 1437103444. Check us out online at DuboisLanes.com. Dubois Lanes is hoping for a striking year for the DCC Cardinals. It's that time of year where the weather tests our sanity. But better days lie shortly ahead. Nature will welcome us back to enjoy its sweet chorus, and sparkling waters will engulf us and rejuvenate our souls. There will be countless adventures and awesome opportunities, and most importantly, quality time with those we love. We welcome you to enjoy some of life's great experiences in Warren County, where we have been enjoying the great outdoors since 1819. Warren County, Pennsylvania. Simple, pure, real. Claims have Claims happen. Fortunately, you have Gerg Insurance and Financial in your corner. Your family is our family, and we really mean that. So we invite you to get in touch with us and find out for yourself. Gerg Insurance and Financial. Offices in Ridgeway, Warren, and St. Mary's. Call 814-781-1020 for an appointment or a quote today. Gerg Insurance and Financial wants to understand you to help protect you. Gerg Insurance. Caring for you and the things you care for. For all your automotive needs, look no further than the Warren Tire Center. From new tires to tire repairs, PA state inspections, wheel alignments, and auto detailing, there's so much more that we can do for you, and there's no reason to go anywhere but the Warren Tire Center in Warren, Pennsylvania. With over 40 years of serving the Warren and surrounding communities, it's always been a great day at the Warren Tire Center. We offer same-day service, and walk-ins are welcome. Open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Warren Tire Center can be reached at 814-723-8050 and on the web at warrentirecenter.com. Back here at Clarion Limestone getting ready. Kaylee Smith on the in the circle for the Lady Lions today. Jenna Dunn, having a little bit of a uh, sore, bit of a sore arm. She's going to play shortstop. She, we may see her later. She was warming up as well as Kaylee Smith. Kaylee, of course, the daughter of baseball coach Bill Smith. Her brother Tommy getting ready to pitch over on the baseball field against against uh, Cranberry there as well. 
Her defense will include Abby Knapp doing the catching, Alyssa Wyant's at first, Olivia Smith at second, Jenna Dunn is over at shortstop. Jesslyn Gert is the third baseman. Jocelyn Henry's in left. Sam Simpson's in center. And Jade Tarana Rena is in right. So it's Wyant, Olivia Smith, Dunn, Gert, first to third. Henry Simpson, Tarana, left to right. Knapp doing the catching for Kaylin Smith. It'll be Risinger, Watson, and... Schneider for Cranberry here in the first inning. Well, we're ready to get underway as Lexi Risinger steps in, the left fielder for Cranberry. Smith ready with the first pitch. Fouled out of play, strike one. So Smith pitching into the sun. has got the sunglasses on out there. 0-1 pitch. Called strike two, and it's no balls and two strikes. Oh, and 2 pitch coming up to Risinger. Kaylee Smith's pitch. Foul ball down the left uh, first base side, down the right field line. Remains no balls and two strikes. So 0 and 2 here on Rising and leading off for Cranberry. Just underway here at the CL Sports Complex. Smith ready with the pitch. That ball is hit out the center. It's going to hit and go all the way to the wall. Center fielder Simpson up with it. Risinger's into second. She's going to go three, and she's going to be there without a throw on a leadoff triple. So Risinger triples to deep center, leading off here for Cranberry, and the Berries are in business. That'll bring up A.A. Watson. Rena Watson getting ready to step in. Knapp going to go out and discuss their pitcher. That's a Pizza Hut triple, by the way, for Risinger. Nobody out pizzas the hut. PizzaHut.com. Pizza Hut in Clarion. Pizza Hut in Grove City. Pizza Hut in Brookville. All along the I-80 quarter. Past the one in Phillipsburg last Thursday. My way to and from Altoona to handle the Punxsutawney stuff. So the corner infielders will come in here for CL with Watson at the plate. Middle infield somewhat deep. There's ball one to Watson. Smith ready with the 1-0. Little Fister back to Smith. Her only play would be to first and it's a low throw. And Watson's going to be safe on the air. Scoring there is Risinger, and it is 1-0 Cranberry here in the top of the first. So give Watson an RBI there. Tough situation here. Runner at first for Schneider, Keeley Schneider. Schneider, pop fly, shortstop going back. She's not going to get it. Center fielder Simpson will have to come in. She'll throw it in. And a little bloop single there for Schneider. And Cranberry has first and second with nobody out and a run already in here in the first. Bring up Riley Coe, her dad Martin coaching down at first base. First pitch is up high to Coe, ball one. So triple air and a single has Cranberry on the board here in the early going, one nothing. That pitch is fouled out of play and it's one ball and one strike.
Watson at second. Snyder's at first. Co at the plate. 1-1 one, one pitch from Smith. Floats high, and it's two balls and one strike. Didn't see if they ran for Watson there or not. Can't tell from here. That ball is fouled away. Shakes the camera a little bit, which is attached to the back screen here at CL, and it's two balls and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes on Co. Smith ready with the 2-2. Two -two. That ball is into center field for a base hit. Coming around all the way from second and scoring is Watson, and it's now 2-0 in favor of Cranberry on the RBI single to center by Co. Snyder goes to second on the play. It'll ring up Cassie Scarborough. Called strike on the outside corner. Next pitch to Scarborough is inside, ball one, one ball and one strike. One ball, one strike, wind into delivery. High and outside, it's two and one. Winding the 2-1. Ground ball, base hit into right field. Schneider being waved home. Throw comes in the second. Now that goes over to third, and they've got her at third. Oh, no, she's safe at third. Looked like they were going to have her at third, but she's safe at third. Is Co as Schneider scores. So Co on the bang-bang at third is safe. Scarborough will take second on the throw. And it's 3 nothing now in favor of Cranberry. First five have reached here for the Berries. That'll bring up Jaden Shoemaker. Second and third, nobody out. Three in for Cranberry. Finding the pitch. Inside, ball one. Smith ready with the 1-0. Ball is rolled foul over on the third base, uh, first base side. Let's a will chase it down. It's one ball and one strike here on Shoemaker. Co is at third. Scarborough's at second. Three in, nobody out here in the top of the first for Cranberry. Wine in the pitch. That is fouled out of play. Over the first base dugout occupied by the Cranberry Berries. And it's one and two. There's a ball that is lined to the second baseman, Olivia Smith, for out number. One, so they get the first out here. That'll bring up Kendall Finley. Finley, left-handed hitter. Center fielder for these berries. Played a key role in them getting to the District 9 2A championship game a year ago. Takes the first pitch, fouls it out of play, strike one. Takes a look at her wristband, takes a look at her third base coach and manager, Chrissy Shoemaker, ready with the 0-1. 
swings and drives that one deep, but foul, way foul down the left field side, and it's no balls and two strikes. So 0-2 here on Finley. Coe's at third, Scarborough's at second for Cranberry. Three in for the Berries here in the top of the first. Wine in the 0-2. Misses outside, one ball and two strikes. Smith ready with the 1-2. Way outside. Two balls and two strikes. Two and two on Finley. Wind in the 2-2. Two -two. Popped up. Third baseman over. She didn't see it in the sun. That was Gert. And that sun topped the battle through it. We saw that at the baseball field the other day with first baseman Derek Smale of Clarion having trouble with it. That time you could just tell that Gert never was able to find it, even though it landed about a foot in fair territory. 2-2 two -two again. Again, this one is fouled way out of play down the left field side. Remains two balls and two strikes. Kaylee Smith ready. Steps on the rubber. Delivers the 2-2. Way outside. Now it goes full 3-2. So Finley, who was down in the count 0-2, has worked it full with three balls and two strikes. Caitlin begs on deck for the berries. Smith ready with the payoff. Lost her ball four. So good at bat there for Finley walking the walk. So the bases are loaded with one out for Caitlin Beggs. CL brings its infield in here, down 3 nothing in the first. There's a called strike. Nice pitch there on the outside corner by Smith. It's the youngster Smith, who hasn't seen a ton of time in the varsity circle, if at any, facing a jam here in the first. This is down low, ball one. See, all is no stranger to adversity this year. Their best athletes, Kendall Dunn. Tore ACL during volleyball season, was able to come back, finish that, was able to get a game in during basketball season, but hasn't been able to play. So they've battled through adversity all season long, have the Lady Lions. All year long, I should say. One ball, two strikes. Smith ahead in the count, one and two. Ground ball, Smith has it. She's going to go to first for the out. Does bring home a run, and it's 4 nothing here. But Smith, wanting to make sure she got the out, goes over to first. And there are two away, but it's now 4 nothing, and there are runners at second and third for Michaela Smith, the ninth batter to bat in this first inning for Cranberry. First pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. Next pitch to Smith, coming up. Floats up high and it's one ball and one strike. Risinger's on deck. She started this rally for Cranberry with the base hit to for the triple to center. 4 nothing in favor of the Berries. Next pitch. In there, strike, and it's one ball and two strikes. So 
So Smith against Smith here. Kaylee Smith against Michaela Smith. Wine in the one, two up high. It's two balls and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes on Michaela Smith. Kaylee Smith in the circle for CL. Wind in the 2 2. Swing and a miss. Strike three, and the inning comes to a close. Cranberry does score four times on four hits. There was an error, a walk, and two left on base. At the end of a half an inning here at Clarion Limestone, it is Cranberry 4, CL coming to bat. You're watching high school softball on the YDL Sports Network, D9 and 10. Sports.com, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Fox. Hi, Chris Rossetti here from D9and10sports.com. I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of Western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. With locations in Chippenville and Tynesta, Tynesta Builder Supply is a full-service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries and general hardware merchandise, Tynesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tynestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. Back here at... Clarion Limestone. We head to the bottom of inning number one with Cranberry up 4 0. Again, for CO, it'll be Abby Nepp, followed by Jenna Dunn, Alyssa Wyant, Sam Simpson, Olivia Smith, Kaylee Smith, Jocelyn Henry, Jada Terena, and Jesslyn Gert, all against Renee Watson. Watson will be backed up by a defense that shows. Smith at first, Coe's at second, Schneider's at third, Scarborough's over at third, or Schneider's at shortstop, Scarborough's over at third, Rosinger's at left, Finley's in center, Beggs is in right, Shoemaker doing the catching. So it's Smith, Coe, Schneider, and Scarborough left first to third, Rosinger, Finley, Beggs left to right, Shoemaker doing the catching for the veteran, Rene Watson. Raina Watson getting ready. Watson's older sister, Andrea, playing at Gannon. Uncle Glenn, of course, owns Clarion Printing. Ball one here to Abby Knapp leading off for the Lions. There's a called strike, and it's one ball and one strike. One and one on Nap. Watson ready with the delivery. Called strike, and it's one ball and two strikes. Watson ready with the one, two. Fouled straight back into the screen. Remains one and two. Watson ready with the one, two. Knapp drives that ball out into the left center field. Center fielder coming over was Finley, but it's the left fielder rising her in front of her to make the running catch one away. The center fielder Finley came together with the left fielder Risinger. Risinger able to make the catch on the run. Bring up Jenna Dunn. In there for a strike. It's 
pitch from Watson is fouled, and it's no balls and two strikes on Dunn. Oh, and two. Ground ball. Pitcher Watson picks it up, throws over to the first base and Smith, and there's quickly two away here in the CL first. Bring up Alyssa Wyant. Wyant stepping in here against Watson. First pitch misses down low, ball one. Watson ready with the 1-0. In there for a called strike, one ball and one strike. If you're just joining us, Cranberry got the first five on in the first Scored four times in that top of the first. We're in the bottom of the first here. A pitch misses outside. Two balls and one strike. One in the two one. Swung through and it's two balls and two strikes. Two and two on Wyant. Wind blowing hard left to right here at CL. Ground ball, fair ball off the third baseman Scarborough. That's going to be a base hit for Wyant. So Wyant gets the Lady Lions first hit of the game on an infield single down the line. Scarborough tried to backhand it. Had it go off of her in fair territory. That'll bring up Olivia Smith. Watson peers in. Here's the wind in the pitch. Fly ball towards center. Coming in is the center fielder, Finley. She'll make a diving catch right at the lip of the outfield grass. And the inning comes to an end. So for CL in the first, no runs. One hit, no errors, one left on base. We head to the second inning here at the CL Sports Complex. It's Cranberry 4, Clarion Limestone. Nothing you're watching high school softball on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Spring is here, and that means grilling season. Mike's Bilo in Reynoldsville has all your grilling needs covered with chicken, steak, pork chops, and more. You can check out all of Mike's Bilo's weekly specials from the comfort of your home at mikesbilo.com, where you will also find online coupons and recipes. Visit Mike's Bilo on South 5th Street in Reynoldsville today. Mike's Bilo's Foods, your friendly hometown supermarket. Are you hungry? Of course you're hungry. And Daddy's on Main Street in Clarion is ready to tackle that hunger for you. Serving amazing food since 2008, Daddy's has been Clarion's go-to stop whenever hunger strikes. Whether it's a good old-fashioned hot dog or hamburger, a salad, or something from their rotating chef's menu. Yes, I said rotating chef's menu. Daddy has you covered. You can order ahead by calling 814-223-4687 or come on in and dine in. Have a big event you are catering? Daddy's can do that too. Like Daddy's on Facebook at Daddy's Clarion and stop in today. You won't be disappointed. Back here at the CL Sports Complex, want to shout out to CL Assistant Coach Justin Oaks and uh, Sarah Meals for setting me up with a chair today. I forgot mine, but uh, the CL folks came through in a big time way for me. Top of the lineup here for Cranberry. It'll be Reisinger, Watson, and Schneider. Ball one. That one's fouled straight back, and it's one ball and one strike. Reisinger got things started last inning with a leadoff triple to deep center. It's ready with the 1-1. One, one. It's a called strike, and it's one ball and two strikes. One 
one and two coming up here to Risinger. Risinger fly ball right field side out of play. Beyond the bleachers down there, it remains one ball and two strikes. Kaylee Smith, who ended the first inning with a strikeout, looking for another one. Waiting for a softball here. Finally gets one. Steps onto the rubber, gets ready with the one-two. Risinger fouls that one away. Rains one ball and two strikes on Risinger. Wide in the one-two. Down low, and it's two balls and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Leading off here, Alexi Risinger for Cranberry in the second. Fouls that one away. She continues to battle. Remains two and two. Wine and a two two. Misses high and outside, and the count's now full with three balls and two strikes. Three and two on Risinger. Smith set with the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. She gets. Rising or swinging her second consecutive strikeout. One away here in the Cranberry second inning. That'll bring up Raina Watson. Raina Watson stepping in. Reached on an RBI fielder's choice air back in. First inning, fouls that one straight back out of play. Strike one. Scored a run in that first inning. One in the 0-1. Watson. Deep fly ball, but foul, and it's no balls and two strikes. So Smith way ahead in the count, 0-2 here on Watson. One in the 0-2. Misses in the dirt, one ball and two strikes. It skips beyond catcher Abby Knapp. She'll retrieve it. Not much room behind home plate here at CL. with the one two ball is fouled out of play it remains one and two one and two on Raina Watson Smith ready with the one two Ground ball, short stop, done up with it. Throw across, nice stretch towards home plate by first baseman Wyatt. And there are two away here. So Smith seems to be settling in after uh, a little bit of a rocky start. Two away here in inning number two. That'll bring up Keeley Schneider. Schneider singled home or run or singled and scored a run in the first. First pitch is a little high, ball one. Smith set with the 1-0. Misses outside, and it's two balls and no strikes.
One and a 2 0. -oh. This is just high, and it's three balls and no strikes. 3 0 -oh on Schneider. Kelly Smith to Keeley Schneider. Ball four, lost her. The second walk issued by Smith. It's a two out walk. They'll bring up Riley Coe. That misses. Now that's five balls in a row. I feel like I just cursed Keeley Smith. I said she seemed like she had found a groove, and now she's lost it a little bit here. Looks to get it back on the 0-1. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. That's going to go all the way to the wall. By the time the left fielder Henry has it, Snyder will be at home having scored the fifth Cranberry run on the RBI double to left center field by Riley Coe. So Coe got that into the gap. And with two outs going on contact, easily coming around the score was Schneider. Cassie Scarborough comes to the plate now with a runner in scoring position. Five nothing in favor of the Berries. Ball one. Ball two, two balls and no strikes. And then stealing third, and now the ball gets away from the third baseman. Gerd, but not able to advance any further, is Co. She stole it on the ball coming back to the pitcher. So she's now at third with two balls and no strikes. On Scarborough. Scarborough, base hit into right field. That'll make it 6 nothing. Right fielder, Arena gets it in. With some two-out lightning here in the second inning by the Cranberry Berries. Six-nothing. If you happen to be listening while you're here, the scoreboard has frozen here at CL. Still trying to thaw out from yesterday. We'll bring up Jaden Shoemaker. She lined out the second in her first at bat. Takes ball one. There's a line drive base hit into center field. Center fielder Simpson has to get behind her, and now the runners are going to run. Coming around and scoring is Scarborough. Going into third is Shoemaker, and it is 7 0 in favor of Cranberry. Base hit the center by Shoemaker. Two base air allows Scarborough to come around and score. And it's seven nothing. All of this here in the second inning with two outs for the Berries. We'll bring up Kendall Finley. Finley with a line drive into left center field. That'll bring home another run. It is now eight nothing. Cranberry on the base hit to left by Finley. Bring up Katie Beggs. Beggs a line drive out into right field, coming in and not being able to catch it is the right fielder, Tarana. Runner heading to third. She'll be there safely as the runner into second. Oops. 
added an extra run there. So Finley's at third, Beggs is at second for Smith. Batting for the second time, and Cranberry is batted around for the second time in as many innings. One ball and no strikes on Michaela Smith. Eight nothing Cranberry. Four in the first, four here in the second. One in the pitch. Misses, gets behind Nap, but again, very little room here at CL. Base runner Finley has to hold at third. Two and zero here on Smith. She struck out last inning. Smith the delivery to Smith, swing and a miss. Two balls in one strike on Michaela Smith. Kaylee Smith in the circle for CL. One in the pitch that misses, and it's now three and one. Three and one here on Michaela Smith, the ninth batter to bat in the inning. Cranberry scored four runs after two outs. There's ball four. And the bases are loaded. Jason Craig is going to go out. Here, it's a daddy's in clarion break. You'll never have to worry about where you're breaking for dinner when you go to Daddy's on Main Street in Clarion. Like them on Facebook at Daddy's Clarion. Check out Daddy's specials on Facebook. See what they've got going on today at Daddy's. They've got a springtime chicken salad. Chicken served on spinach and spring mix. Also a Clarion Prime cheese steak. Some more Daddy specials include a brisket grilled cheese, food truck chicken tacos, meatloaf Daddy's. That's Aaron's famous meatloaf. Cheeseburger sliders and a Stephen A. Bagel burger. And that's Daddy's on Main Street in Clarion. So Risinger struck out to start this inning as Kaylee Smith got the first two outs without a problem. Here's a ground ball, shortstop done across, and the inning comes to a close. But not before Cranberry picks up four more runs. There were four hits. A couple of CL errors, three left on base. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It is Cranberry 8, Clarion Limestone nothing. You're watching high school softball on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Spring is here, and that means grilling season. Mike's Bilo in Reynoldsville has all your grilling needs covered with chicken, steak, pork chops, and more. You can check out all of Mike's Bilo's weekly specials from the comfort of your home at mikesbilo.com, where you will also find online coupons and recipes. Visit Mike's Bilo on South 5th Street in Reynoldsville today. Mike's Bilo's Foods, your friendly hometown supermarket. Are you hungry? Of course you're hungry. And Daddy's on Main Street in Clarion is ready to tackle that hunger for you. Serving amazing food since 2008, Daddy's has been Clarion's go-to stop whenever hunger strikes. Whether it's a good old-fashioned hot dog or hamburger, a salad, or something from their rotating chef's menu. Yes, I said rotating chef's menu. Daddy has you covered. You can order ahead by calling 814-223-4687 or come on in and dine in. Have a big event you are catering? Daddy's can do that too. Like Daddy's on Facebook at Daddy's Clarion and stop in today. You won't be disappointed. What's the recipe for surprising the kids, treating yourself, and ditching dish duty? You're looking at it. Order your Pizza Hut faves like original pan, original stuffed crust, and more at PizzaHut.com. No one out pizzas the hut. Back here at Clarion Limestone, 8 nothing Cranberry. Olivia Smith, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's Olivia Smith to be followed by Kaylee Smith and J. 
Jocelyn Henry for the Lady Lions. First pitch, ground ball, right back to Watson. She'll pick it up after knocking it down, and she'll throw Smith out. And there's one away here in the CL second inning. One pitch, one out. Bring up Kaylee Smith. This is high, ball one. Four in the first, four in the second for Cranberry for giving them the eight-nothing lead here in the bottom of the second. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Watson ready with the 1-1. One, one. That ball is popped up. Left fielder rising or coming in. Will make the catch in front of the center fielder Finley for the second out. Two away for the Lady Lions. That'll bring up Jocelyn Henry. First pitch to Henry, in there for a called strike. One in the 01. Well, they're saying that she went until it's no balls and two strikes. So an 0 and 2 here on Henry. Watch already with the 0-2. That misses high and outside, and it's one ball and two strikes. Major League Baseball update. Pirates leading the Rockies 12-1 in the sixth. Looking to sweep that series. There's a called strike three. And the inning is over. First strikeout for Watson. In the CL second, no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on base. We head to the third here at the CL Sports Complex. It is Clarion Limestone trailing Cranberry, eight to nothing. You're watching high school softball on the YDL Sports Network, powered by Allegheny Grill and Fox. Swift Kennedy and Company in Dubois is an independent property and casualty insurance agency and the official insurance agency of your daily local LLC, the parent company of the YDL Sports Network. Founded in 1921 by Patrick J. Swift and Albert D. Kennedy, our success has been built on service and attention to our clients' needs. Our philosophy is service and our hallmark is integrity. Visit Swift Kennedy and Company on the web at swiftkennedyandco.com or call them today at 814-371-5270. Swift Kennedy and Company, insurance with integrity since 19. 1921. In both, in both baseball and softball, as in bowling, there's nothing better than a perfect strike. And Dubois Lane's on the B-line, and Dubois has been serving up a striking good time for nearly 70 years, and is here for all your bowling needs. At Dubois Lane's, we have open bowling, leagues, birthday parties, and other special events, along with a great pro shop. Call today for open bowling hours or to book your next event, 814-371-0344. Check us out online at DuboisLanes.com. Dubois Lane's is hoping for a striking year for the DCC Cardinals. Back here at Clarion Limestone, we head to the third inning. It'll be Watson, Schneider, and Co. Two, three, and four due up for Cranberry. Watson takes ball one. Watson is 0 for 2, reached on an air and scored in the first, grounded out in the second. Lee Smith's next pitch misses high and outside, and it's two balls and no strikes. Two zero in there for a called strike, and it's two balls and one strike. One in the two one. That is fouled out of play, and it's two balls and two strikes. Two 
Two balls, two strikes on Watson. Kaylee Smith ready with the delivery. Misses high, and it goes full. Three balls and two strikes. Winding the 3-2 is fouled out of play. Lots of foul balls here today. So one of the Cranberry players fired it back to Smith and then fired it into Knapp, who handed it to home plate umpire Ron Walter, who checked the ball, handed it back to Knapp, threw it back out to Smith. There's a line drive, base hit into left field. Left fielder Henry will get in front of it, but Watson's got a leadoff single here in the third. Second time she's been on base, first hit for Raina Watson. Bring up Keeley Schneider. Schneider is one for one, singled and scored in the first, walked and scored in the second. Her leadoff walk with two outs last, or walk with two outs last, and got things started. This time she hits a flare. Second baseman, done, or shortstop, done on to first. That's a double play. So Watson thinking it was going to go over Dunn's head. Dunn goes up high, gets it, catches it. Throws over to double up Watson. Two away. Nobody on here in the Cranberry third. Nice play by Jenna Dunn. Bring up Riley Coe. First pitch to Coe. Coe swinging. Ground ball to Dunn. On to first. And Dunn helped clean that inning up for Smith. In the third for Cranberry. No runs. One hit. No errors. Nobody left on base. We head to the bottom of inning number three. It is Cranberry 8, Clarion Limestone, nothing. You're watching high school. It's up on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Girl in Foxburg. It's that time of year where the weather tests our sanity. But better days lie shortly ahead. Nature will welcome us back to enjoy its sweet chorus, and sparkling waters will engulf us to rejuvenate our souls. There will be countless adventures and awesome opportunities, and most importantly, quality time with those we love. We welcome you to enjoy some of life's great experiences in Warren County, where we have been enjoying the great outdoors since 1819. Warren County, Pennsylvania. Simple, pure, real. Claims happen. Fortunately, you have Gerg Insurance and Financial in your quarter. Your family is our family, and we really mean that. So we invite you to get in touch with us and find out for yourself. Gerg Insurance and Financial. Offices in Ridgeway, Warren, and St. Mary's. Call 814-781-1020 for an appointment or a quote today. Gerg Insurance and Financial. Wants to understand you to help protect you. Gerg Insurance. Caring for you and the things you care for. Back here at the CL Sports Complex, Jade Terena leading off for Clarion Limestone, followed by Gert and Nab. Eight, nine, and one for the Lady Lions. Ball one from Raina Watson. Watson's given up one hit through two. There's a swing and a miss, strike one. One ball, one strike. It's a called strike on the outside portion of the plate, and it's two balls and two strikes. One and two on Terena. Ground ball, foul ball over the third base side. Third baseman Scarborough picks it up, fires it back to her pitcher Watson. That'll miss high and outside, and it's two balls and two strikes. Winding the 2-2. Two -two. 
Ground ball back to the circle. Pitcher Watson up with it on the first, and there's one away here in the CL third. Jesslyn Henry stepping to the plate for the Lady Lions. Watson's pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. So Gert at the plate, Jocelyn Gert. Jocelyn Gert ready with to face the 0-2, fouls that one out of play, and it's no balls and two strikes. 0-2 on Gert. One out here in the CL third. Lady Lions scored late to beat Monotaw the other day. And then last week, there's a swing and a miss, strike three. Catcher Shoemaker out to tag the runner, Gert. And there are two outs. Strikeout number two for Watson. I'll bring up the top of the order in Abby Knapp. That flew out to left field in her first at bat. And ready with the pitch. There's a called strike. Four in the first, four in the second for Cranberry. That's where we stand. Eight nothing berries here in the third. Oh, one to nap. Fly ball towards center. Finley going back. It's going to be over her head and it's going to be out of the park. That is a home run for Abby Knapp. So it went straight out to center field. Abby Knapp with the solo homer for the Lady Lions. They're on the board. They trail eight to one. So that ball was hit straight to center, which is straight on for me. And I saw Finley going back. I did not see it go over the wall, but it went over the wall. And it's a solo home run for Abby Knapp. I have Jenna Dunn. Second hit of the game for the Lions is the home run by Knapp here with two outs in the third. And Watson ready. That ball is popped up and out of play over the first base dugout. Owen one here on Dunn. Watson ready with the 0 1. Ground ball. Third baseman Scarborough knocks it down, but she's not going to have a play, and it's going to be an infield hit for Jenna Dunn. So now CL trying to do what Cranberry did in the second here in the third, get a little lightning going with two outs. Lisa Wyatt now to the plate for the Lady Lions. What's his first pitch? Called strike. Wyant singled on a ball, hit to the third baseman Scarborough in her first at bat, back in the first. Wyant in the 0-1, it's down low. Now they're gonna try to pick off the runner and first baseman Smith turned like she had a tag and uh, Dunn was on her way to second instead, and it's going to be a stolen base for Dunn. I think that was a ball. I think we're at one and one. Yep, one ball, one strike. Good job there by home plate umpire Ron Walter to let everybody know the count. So runner in scoring position, one and one here on Y, and after Dunn steals second on the pickoff throw to first. Side, and it's two balls and a strike.
One and a two one. Ground ball, five ball, and it's two balls and two strikes. Two and two on Wyatt. Dunn's at second. Run home for the Lady Lions on the nap homer. They trail eight to one here in the third. Watson ready with the 2-2. That ball is hit high in the air to left. Risinger coming in and over, and she'll make the catch to end the inning. For the Lady Lions in the third, it was one run on, two hits, no errors, one left on base. We head to the fourth inning here at the CL Sports Complex with Clarion Limestone trailing Cranberry, 8-1. to one. You're watching High School Softball on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. For all your automotive needs, look no further than the Warren Tire Center. From new tires to tire repairs, PA state inspections, wheel alignments, and auto detailing, there's so much more that we can do for you, and there's no reason to go anywhere but the Warren Tire Center in Warren, Pennsylvania. With over 40 years of serving the Warren and surrounding communities, it's always been a great day at the Warren Tire Center. We offer same-day service, and walk-ins are welcome. Open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Warren Tire Center can be reached at 814-723-8050 and on the web at warrentirecenter.com. Hi, Chris Rossetti here from D9and10sports.com. I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of Western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. With locations in Chippenville and Tynesta, Tynesta Builder Supply is a full-service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries and general hardware merchandise, Tynesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tynestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. What's your sub, Sarah? Spring is here, and that means grilling season. Mike's Bilo in Reynoldsville has all your grilling needs covered with chicken, steak, pork chops, and more. You can check out all of Mike's Bilo's weekly specials from the comfort of your home at mikesbilo.com, where you will also find online coupons and recipes. Visit Mike's Bilo on South 5th Street in Reynoldsville today. Mike's Bilo's Foods, your friendly hometown supermarket. Back here at CL, we've got some defensive changes for the Lady Lions. Pizza Hut changes. Anna Huffman entering the game to play right field. Toronto moves over to center. Simpson will move into play second. And Olivia Smith over at third. That's the first pitch from Kaylee Smith. I didn't actually see what it was. There's a ground ball, base hit into center field for Scarborough, and then back, and just getting back in there with Scarborough as the throw went in behind her, but she's going to lead off here with a single to the new center fielder, Tarana. Scarborough's got three hits and three at-bats. That'll bring up Jaden Shoemaker. Swing and a miss. Quick throw down to first. Getting back in, standing up. With Scarborough. So it's Huffman in right. Torena in center. Olivia Smith's over at third. And Simpson is at second for the Lady Lions now. Ball is fouled out of play. And it's no balls and two strikes. So it's Wyant, Simpson, Dunn, and Olivia Smith, first to third. Henry, Tirana, and Hoffman left to right now. Knapp still doing the catching. Two-strike pitch, little line drive, base hit out into the right center field. Scarborough will round second, head to third. She'll get there, standing up. And there's runners at the corners and nobody out for Cranberry here in the fourth.
bring up Kendall Finley. She's one for one in the game. Walked in the first, singled in the second. Runner heads to second. She'll steal second, and now it's second and third, and nobody out for the Berries here in the fourth. Ready with the wind in the pitch. That's up high. And it's 2-0, I believe. It is two balls and no strikes on Finley. Kaylee Smith ready with the wind and the rock. Finley didn't want to go, couldn't hold up. She swings, and it's two balls and one strike. Two and one here on Finley. It's the called strike on the outside, and it's now two balls and two strikes. With nobody out, and runners at second and third. Definitely looking for the strikeout here is Smith. She's got a couple of them in this game. Wide in the 2-2, two -two, way outside. Smith has to knock it down, chases it, and it's full here on Finley with Beggs on deck. Wind in the 3-2. Fouled out of play. Remains three balls and two strikes on Finley. Three and two here on Finley. Smith winds, rocks, and delivers. Up high, ball four, and the bases are loaded with nobody out for Katie Beggs. CL is going to bring its infield in here again. Trailing 8-1. to one, The Lady Lions trying to cut off a run at the plate. Bakes 0 for 2. Reached on an air. There's a line drive foul ball. Scarborough's at third, Shoemaker's at second, Finley's at first. Nobody out here in the fourth. Nine or eight one, excuse me, in favor of Cranberry. 0 1 pitch on Beggs coming from Kaylee Smith. Wind in the pitch. Up high, and it's one ball and one strike. One in the 1-1. One, one. Up high, and it's two balls and one strike. Two and one here on Beggs. Bases loaded. Fourth inning. Wind in the 2-1. Fouled at the plate, and it's two balls and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Bases loaded, nobody out. Begs at the plate, Smith in the circle. Two two pitch inside. Ball three. By <laughs> Ron Walter called ball four, but definitely was only ball three. Corrected himself quickly. Three balls, two strikes. Wide into three two. That ball is popped up in foul territory. It'll land harmlessly at the edge of the grass dirt. You know, kind of wishes that had been in fair territory. It might have been an infield fly. Instead, it's just a foul ball, and it's three balls, two strikes again, coming to Katie Beggs. Grab 
Ground ball. They're going to tag her. Come home. Safe at the plate is Scarborough. After they tagged out, the runner begs. The tag would have had to have been played on Scarborough. It was late, and it is 9-1 Cranberry. Another RBI for Beggs. She's got two of them on ground outs. On the play, Shoemaker to second. Finley to first. Strike one now to... Smith. A one pitch to Smith. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Smith struck out in the first, walked in the second. We're in the fourth. 9 1 Cranberry in the lead. Wine in the 0 2. Inside, and it's one ball and two strikes. Smith pitching to Smith here. It's one and two. It's a little high and outside, and it's now two balls and two strikes. Kaylee Smith getting ready to pitch to Michaela Smith. Ball is fouled out of play. Two balls, two strikes. Kaylee Smith getting ready with the delivery to Michaela Smith. Misses inside, and it's now full. Three balls and two strikes. Ball is fouled out of play. Remains full on Michaela Smith. One out here in the fourth. Wind in the pitch. Fouls back into the screen. Remains full. Three balls and two strikes. Michaela Smith battling here. Rising her on deck. Kaylee Smith with the payoff. Lost her up high. Ball four, and the bases are reloaded here for Cranberry. Bases are loaded for Lexi Risinger, who is one for three. Tripled and scored in the first. Struck out in the second. Grounded out the short in the second. They're going to pull the CL middle infielders back here with one out. Corners will stay in. Strike one from Kaylee Smith to Lexi Risinger. Run is in for Cranberry here in the fourth. Base is loaded with just one out. One in the pitch. Ground ball. Coming home with it and getting the out at the plate is the new third baseman, Olivia Smith. Nice play by Knapp to... Pick the ball in there, two away here for Cranberry. Bases still loaded for Watson. So Finley now is at third. Smith is at second. Risinger's at first for Watson, who is going to get a ball that goes down the line. That's going to bring home one. Went right through. Olivia Smith, and so on the air, Cranberry picks up another run. They now lead 10-1. to 1. Keely Schneider takes ball one. Schneider is one for two, singled and scored in the first, walked and scored in the second, lined into a double play in the third. 
Fouls that one out of play. Balls are coming back in here. Kaylee Smith getting ready to throw a 1 1 to Keely Schneider. Ground ball, foul ball. Well, ball two strikes now on Schneider. Smith ready with the one, two. Misses, and it's going to skip away from now. But again, with not a lot of space in a 10 1 lead, Cranberry's not going to try to score that run. It's now two balls and two strikes. Two and two to Schneider. Smith rocks, deals. Fly ball, Hoffman coming in. It's going to go past her all the way to the wall. That's going to clear the bases. Coming now to the plate is Schneider. She's going to score. It's an inside the park grand slam for Keeley Schneider. And it is now 14 to 1 in favor of Cranberry. Hoffman came in, tried to make a shoestring catch, couldn't it get behind her, goes all the way to the fence, it clears the bases, and it is 14 to 1. Riley Coe at the plate. Strike one. One and one. So Henry uh, Hoffman kind of got caught in between on that, came in, tried to make the shoestring. When she couldn't make the shoestring, the ball got all the way behind her, all the way to the wall, and Schneider came all the way around as the base is cleared on that inside the park grand slam, and it's now two to 14 to one, and it's two balls in one strike on Co. One and a two, one to Co. Co pops it up. Wyant battling the sun makes the catch. Snow coned it, but she makes the catch in foul territory, and the inning comes to a close. Six runs, though, crossed for Cranberry on. Three hits. There was an error. Nobody left on base. We head to inning number bottom of four. It is 14-1. Cranberry over Clarion Limestone. You're watching High School Softball on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Fox. Are you hungry? Of course you're hungry. And Daddy's on Main Street in Clarion is ready to tackle that hunger for you. Serving amazing food since 2008, Daddy's has been Clarion's go-to stop whenever hunger strikes. Whether it's a good old-fashioned hot dog or hamburger, a salad, or something from their rotating chef's menu. Yes, I said rotating chef's menu. Daddy has you covered. You can order ahead by calling 814-223-4687 or come on in and dine in. Have a big event you are catering? Daddy's can do that too. Like Daddy's on Facebook at Daddy's Clarion and stop in today. You won't be disappointed. What's the recipe for surprising the kids, treating yourself, and ditching dish duty? You're looking at it. Order your Pizza Hut faves like original pan, original stuffed crust, and more at PizzaHut.com. No one out pizzas the hut. Back here, it's now Cranberry 14 to 1 after that sixth spot in the fifth, or in the fourth, excuse me. For CL, it'll be Simpson, Smith, and Smith. Go, 
That takes ball one. That ball is flowing out towards right field. Right fielder. Beggs coming in, makes the catch. One away, that'll bring up Olivia Smith. Strike one to Smith. Watson's given up one run on the homer to Knapp on three hits. He's got a couple of strikeouts. One ball, one strike on Olivia Smith. Swing and a miss, strike two. One ball and two strikes. For those interested in the Pirates score, the Pirates go into the bottom of the ninth, lead the Rockies 14 to two. They've out hit Colorado 18 to four. Second time in three games, they've scored 14 runs. One, ball two, excuse me. And if you haven't noticed, the Pirates are about to be five games over 500 here in the middle of May. Ball is grounded back to Watson. She has a little trouble with it, and her throw is late. So Smith will reach on the air. We'll bring up Kaylee Smith. Kaylee Smith is 0 for 1. First pitch to Kaylee Smith. High, and it's going to get behind the catcher. Runner heading to second. Throw down to second. It'll be late. And on the wild pitch, the Lady Lions will have a runner at second. Want to know on Kaylee Smith? Ball outside, and it's 2-0. and oh. One and a 2-0. Oh. Swing and a miss. Two balls and one strike. Watch ready with the 2-1. Misses inside. It's now 3-1. and one. Three balls, one strike. Ball four. So now Watson issues her first walk, and there's runners at first and second for the Lady Lions. Trailing 14 to one. As Jocelyn Henry stepping to the plate. Oh, for one struck out looking in the second. Watson set, misses outside, ball one. So Olivia Smith reached on the air on the pitcher Watson and then Kaylee Smith walked after one out here in the fourth for the Lady Lions. Raina Watson ready with the 1-0. Popped up. Catcher, shoemaker in foul territory, diving, can't make the play. It'll be a foul ball. That was a tough play for the catcher shoemaker there. Okay, 
ball one strike. That one is fouled out, and it's one and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Watson's third strikeout comes at a big time here with the Cranberry righty there, two away. Okay, Tarana coming to the plate. Watson's first pitch to Tarana. Called strike one. As it stands right now, Cranberry needs four outs and the game would be over on the 10 run rule. Ball's inside. One ball, one strike. Fouled straight back. One ball and two strikes. One in the one, two. Swing and a miss. And the inning is over. In the fourth, four Clarion Limestone. No runs, no hits. There was an error walk and two left on base. We head to the fifth. It's Cranberry 14, Clarion Limestone 1. You're watching high school softball on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Fox. Swift Kennedy and Company in Dubois is an independent property and casualty insurance agency and the official insurance agency of your daily local LLC, the parent company of the YDL Sports Network. Founded in 1921 by Patrick J. Swift and Albert D. Kennedy, our success has been built on service and attention to our clients' needs. Our philosophy is service and our hallmark is integrity. Visit Swift Kennedy and Company on the web at swiftkennedyandco.com or call them today at 814-371-5270. Swift Kennedy and Company, insurance with integrity since 1921. In both baseball and softball, as in bowling, there's nothing better than a perfect strike. And Dubois Lane's on the B-Line, and Dubois has been serving up a striking good time for nearly 70 years, and is here for all your bowling needs. At Dubois Lane's, we have open bowling, leagues, birthday parties, and other special events, along with a great pro shop. Call today for open bowling hours or to book your next event, 814-371-0344. Check us out online at DuboisLanes.com. Dubois Lane's is hoping for a striking year for the DCC Cardinals. Back here at the CL Sports Complex, 14 to one, Cranberry, four in the first, four in the second, six in the fourth for the Lady Berries, one on an Abbey Knapp home run in the third for CL. Casey Scarborough coming up. She is three for three, couple of runs scored, two RBIs. First pitch from Kaylee Smith is fouled Deep out of play down the right side. Again, Cranberry, if they can hold a 10 run lead, needs just three outs to end this one. Next pitch, ground ball, base hit into right center field, heading towards second is Scarborough. Throw comes in, and she is safe at second. With a double. So Scarborough doubles. She has got four hits today. Bring up Jaden Shoemaker. Shoemaker is two for three with a run scored. Fouls the first one back, strike one. Final score to report, AC Valley Union 16, Clarion one in three innings. 
We will have AC Valley Union at Red Bank tomorrow afternoon. High ball one, one ball, one strike. It's a strike and it's one ball and two strikes. One and a one, two. Swing and a miss. Shoemaker strikes out. Strikeout number three for Kaylee Smith. Bring up Kendall Finley. Only five of the 14 runs against Smith are earned. As Kendall Finley steps to the plate. Finley's walked a couple times, scored once, also has a single and three at bat and three plate appearances. That ball is in the dirt. Heading to third is Scarborough. She'll be there on the wild pitch. Ball fouled out of play. One and one on Finley. Smith set with the delivery. Way high. Two balls. Two and one on Finley. Ball is popped high in the air. Smith will make the catch, and there's two away. We need a pinch hitter here, I do believe, for Caitlin Beggs. Looks like it's going to be Maddie Wagner. So Wagner to pinch hit. So Wagner to pinch hit for Beggs. Matty Wagner stepping up to the plate for the first time. Got to get a wristband on. <laughs> Chrissy Shoemaker looks in at her. Younger players like, take a deep breath here. Everything's going to be okay. Empire Walter puts the mask back on. Pitches inside to Wagner, ball one. For the Lions in the fifth, it'll be Huffman and then the top of the order, Nap and Dunn. Smith set with the pitch. Misses inside. Smith trying to pitch around the leadoff double by Scarborough. She's at third now with two outs. Two and one. Now it's two and two. Two balls, two strikes on the pinch hitter, Wagner.
One and a two-two. That ball is hit out into right field. That is going to be a fair ball. That's going to get down. It's going to score a run. And Wagner with a pinch hit RBI double for Cranberry makes it 15 to one. So Wagner, the pinch hit RBI double scores Scarborough. It's 15 to one. We're going to get another pinch hitter here for the Berries. Is now stepping to the plate is well gonna have to pull out the good old lineup card to find out who this is. It's McKinley, Morgan McKinley to bat. So McKinley coming in. So McKinley to pinch hit here. Ball one on a wild pitch heading to third is Wagner. She'll be in there safely. Up high and it's two balls and no strikes. Two zero pitch, way high, and it's now three and zero. Risinger would be next. One in the pitch, fouled away. Two balls and one strike. So Wagner with the Pizza Hut pinch hit double. And now here's a ground ball base hit for the other pinch hitter. McKinley with the RBI single. And it is 16 to one. And another pinch hitter will be coming up for the Berries. Cal Knight it looks like. So Raquel Knight will pinch hit for Risinger here. So Smith on the rubber, ready. And we're gonna have a wave off here by umpire Walter. Sixteen to one, the score. Ball is fouled out of play. Strike one. Couple of pinch hit RBIs here in the fifth inning for Cranberry. Next pitch tonight. Ground ball, shortstop done. We'll take the easy out at second. And the inning comes to an end, but not before two more runs cross for Cranberry on three hits, no errors, and one left on base. We head to the bottom of the fifth. It is now 16-1 to one in favor of Cranberry. You're watching High School Softball on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Hi, Chris Rossetti here from D9 and 10sports.com.
I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of Western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. With locations in Chippenville and Tynesta, Tynesta Builder Supply is a full-service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries and general hardware merchandise, Tynesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tynestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. Spring is here, and that means grilling season. Mike's Bilo in Reynoldsville has all your grilling needs covered with chicken, steak, pork chops, and more. You can check out all of Mike's Bilo's weekly specials from the comfort of your home at mikesbilo.com, where you will also find online coupons and recipes. Visit Mike's Bilo on South 5th Street in Reynoldsville today. Mike's Bilo's Foods, your friendly hometown supermarket. Back here at CL. 16 to 1 cranberry watson looking for three more outs to put this game in the books all three players who were pinch hit for have re-entered the game for cranberry strike one to anna hoffman here her first at bat after she came in a couple innings ago to play right field swing and a miss strike two Oh and two here. Why in the O2? Called strike three. Third strikeout in a row by Watson. She has five of them, and now now Chrissy Shoemaker is gonna go out to the circle. I don't know if she's making a pitching change here. Or is she just talking to Watson? Just talking to Watson. Well, it was a it was a one on one conversation between Shoemaker and her pitcher Watson with. One out here in the fifth of a 16 to one game. Abby Knapp, who had a home run last time, is at the plate. Ball one. One and a one oh. Outside, two and oh. One and a two oh misses and it's three and oh. I can't imagine that the conversation from Chrissy Shoemaker to her pitcher Watson in a sixteen to one game was to be careful with Knapp here. Three balls, no strikes. One and a three oh. Ground ball, foul ball. Three balls and one strike. Scarborough knocks it down over there. Ground ball, Scarborough up with it, throw across the diamond in time, and CL is down to its final out. So two outs here in the fifth. Jenna Dunn, the last hope for the Lady Lions. They need six to keep this game alive. Dunn, one for two, has an infield single and a stolen base. Stay tuned for our post-game show. That ball was outside, ball one. We'll have a Allegheny Grill of Foxburg player of the game interview for you. Next pitch to Dunn. Fouled out of play, and it's one ball and one strike. Go, 
misses, and it's two and one here on Dunn. Sixteen runs on balls. A bay hit the center. Dunn's got her second hit of the game. Bring up Alyssa Wyant. I was about to say Cranberry with 16 runs on 15 hits. 16 runs on 15 hits for the Berries. First pitch to Alyssa Wyant is in there for strike one. Wyan has an infield single and a fly out in this game. Ball is fouled out of play, and now the Lady Lions are down to their last out. No balls and two strikes. Watson set with the 0-2. Ground ball, foul ball. CL manager Jason Craig picks it up, fires it back into Watson. Watson's given up one run on four hits, a walk and five strikeouts. Wind in the pitch. Fly ball to left. Left fielder rising or coming in. Shortstop back. Neither of them will get it. It'll be a base hit. For Wyan, her second hit of the game. So CL with a little two out rally going here in the fifth. That'll bring up Sam Simpson. Simpson 0 for 2 has gone to the center fielder, Finley, and the right fielder, Beggs. Maybe the left fielder, Risinger, should be on her toes here. Foul over the dugout on the first base side. Strike one. No balls, one strike on Simpson. Watson set again. Wind in the pitch. A little high, and it's one ball and one strike. One and one. Inside, two and one. Nice stop by the catcher Shoemaker there. Two and one here to Simpson. Watson ready with the delivery. Misses inside, and it's going to get behind Shoemaker. And on the wild pitch, runners move up 60 feet, and it's second and third and two outs. And a 3-1 count coming here on Simpson. One and a 3-1. Misses way outside. Runner's going to break for the plane, and she's going to be safe. So on the wild pitch, Dunn scores. Wyant the third, and Simpson walks. And it's 16-2. to two. And now Olivia Smith. So actually, yeah, Olivia Smith at the plate. Smith reached on an air in her last at bat in the fourth, grounded out to the mound or to the circle. In fact, both balls came back to the circle, so Watson should be on her toes here. Yeah, 
16 to 2. Strike one. Into second with a stolen base there is Simpson. Owen one out of play, Owen two. Let's see how back down to its final strike again. Watson trying to put this one away. There it's called strike three, and the game is over. Final score in five innings here at CL. It was Cranberry 16, Clarion Limestone 2. We'll be back after these messages. You've been watching High School Bay. High School Softball on the YDL Sports Network. For all your automotive needs, look no further than the Warren Tire Center. From new tires to tire repairs, PA state inspections, wheel alignments, and auto detailing, there's so much more that we can do for you, and there's no reason to go anywhere but the Warren Tire Center in Warren, Pennsylvania. With over 40 years of serving the Warren and surrounding communities, it's always been a great day at the Warren Tire Center. We offer same-day service, and walk-ins are welcome. Open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Warren Tire Center can be reached at 814-723-8050 and on the web at warrentirecenter.com. Are you hungry? Of course you're hungry. And Daddy's on Main Street in Clarion is ready to tackle that hunger for you. Serving amazing food since 2008, Daddy's has been Clarion's go-to stop whenever hunger strikes. Whether it's a good old-fashioned hot dog or hamburger, a salad, or something from their rotating chef's menu. Yes, I said rotating chef's menu. Daddy has you covered. You can order ahead by calling 814-223-4687 or come on in and dine in. Have a big event you are catering? Daddy's can do that too. Like Daddy's on Facebook at Daddy's Clarion and stop in today. You won't be disappointed. Swift. Swift Kennedy and Company in Dubois is an independent property and casualty insurance agency and the official insurance agency of your daily local LLC, the parent company of the YDL Sports Network. Founded in 1921 by Patrick J. Swift and Albert D. Kennedy, our success has been built on service and attention to our clients' needs. Our philosophy is service and our hallmark is integrity. Visit Swift Kennedy and Company on the web at swiftkennedyandco.com or call them today at 814-371-5270. Swift Kennedy and Company, insurance with integrity since 1921. What's the recipe for surprising the kids, treating yourself, and ditching dish duty? You're looking at it. Order your Pizza Hut faves like original pan, original stuffed crust, and more at PizzaHut.com. No one out pizzas the hut. Back here at the CL Sports Complex, we're with our Allegheny Grill of Foxburg player of the game, Cassie Scarborough of the Cranberry Berries. Cassie had... You believe Cassie four hits today. You did four for four. You scored three times. You had a couple of RBIs. Uh, just talk about how you were feeling it today. It's really fine. I knew I had my team behind me, and we were gonna do good. Um, were you seeing the ball pretty well? Yeah. Um, what's it like? Like, is it like seeing it when you're seeing the ball like that? Is it like watching a beach ball, or is it just is it like how? What's the feeling? Like, just tell people what the feeling's kind of like there. I think it's like watching a meat logo right down the plate. <laughs> That's a good description of it. Um, you guys being able to score often and early, uh, early and often, I should say, against um, a pitcher who you haven't seen. Um, what was the strategy coming in? What did you guys talk about having not seen Kaylee before? Be patient. Um, and then to have uh, – um, Ran in the circle there, the way she was pitching today. Uh, you guys probably didn't need 16 runs, but how good did it feel to watch her pitch as well as she did today? Felt amazing. Um, and then just you guys moving up to four and two now. Do you feel like this team's starting to gel together now as the season's now hit mid-April? Yes. That, folks, is our Allegheny Grill of Foxburg player of the game, Cassie Scarborough of the Cranberry Berry, she will receive a T-shirt from the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Hey, Cassie, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Folks, that'll do it for us here at Cranberry High School, where the final, or Cranberry, Clarion Limestone High School, where the final score, Cranberry, 
16 to 2. You've been watching high school softball on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg.